What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ghost. I'm uh, coming to you from inside my truck. I'm out here in uh, Arizona, about to get loaded up, um, unloaded, so then I can get loaded up and head back to Cali. Um, I'm dropping this video today to speak on relationships and if somebody's willing to walk out of your life, let them walk. Because, you know, it's not... It's not saying that they're a bad person. It's just, you know, whatever purpose they had in your life is no longer needed. And it takes a lot of prayer and understanding to really understand um, why that person left. And, you know, like for my situations with my relationships, I truly understand why my why I went through everything I went through with my ex-wife. It wasn't that, you know, she was a bad person. It's just, you know, she had a whole lot going on in her life. And I had to learn, I learned that through just, you know, taking time to really analyze the situation and analyze everything that was going on. Um, and I truly understand it. And that's why it was so... I felt so relieved once I was able to just completely let go of that, just everything. Um, and then, you know, with my last relationship, um, you know, that I realized a lot, too, in that relationship. Um, I actually, that uh, situation was actually a lot easier to move on and move past because... I knew from the jump what it was. I knew from the jump. It basically, you know, sooner or later, she was going to leave. That's the best way to explain it. I knew it was going to happen. So, like I told myself, um, I'm just going to, you know, enjoy, um, just enjoy the situation and everything while it lasts because I realized with my last relationship that you know you can be with somebody for four years and the only thing you truly have to show for is the fact that you guys took vacations you look good for social media and that's really it you know um that's it and to me that's not what I wanted out of being with somebody so you know when she chose to walk and leave like I told myself I just gotta let her walk so you know this the decision is suck because you know everybody nobody wants to break up nobody wants to have to start over but you know it was crazy because I felt like her walking and leaving out of the situation, like I had said in that video, um, when bullshit and all that was going on, you know, if she left, I mean, it is what it is. At the end of the day, there's other fish in the sea. And I, I stand by that. Um, you know, because like I always told myself, my ex-wife, everything I went through with her, nobody could ever hurt me like I got hurt during that situation. Because we just went through so much and I experienced so much and we, I gained and built so much out of that relationship. Um, especially business wise. Like, like I said, my ex-wife helped me. She's the reason why I'm even in this industry to begin with. And you know, she was a number cruncher. So, I mean, it was nothing but, you know, growth and development when it came to not only us personally, but in our relationship as well. And you realize that when you get into other relationships and you see what these relationships are bringing to the table, you know, I just couldn't, I just couldn't continue to live just the trips and everything else. That's all fun. And, you know, it feels good to take trips and all that. But if you have no growth in the relationship, what's really the point of being in the relationship, you know? Like I said, my trips and dinners and dressing up and all that, that's a part of my lifestyle. That's just me. That's what I like doing. 
So, you know, when I met this person, I introduced her to that lifestyle. I introduced her to my way of living and everything else. So even after she's gone and the next woman's in the picture, it's still my lifestyle. So that's going to continue to go on even after she's out of the way out of the picture. And that's what I had to realize. And that's what I had to tell myself, like, this is your lifestyle. So that's why, you know, with this breakup, it wasn't, I wanted to hold on to it. But then again, I really analyzed the situation. I really looked at the situation and I told myself, you know what, what's the point? You know, why am I going to go back to the same BS, the same problems, same situation, same issues that I wanted to get away from to begin with. And that's what, you know, that's the that's the, the talk that I really truly had with myself. I had to meet myself in a closet and meet my heart in a closet and really, you know, break it down to myself like, bruh, this is the type of woman you need. And it's just crazy because it's like when I finally, when I truly decided to just up and just focus on just my life, my business and everything else, that's when everything started turning around. That's when the business started turning around. That's when just everything did a full, complete 360. And it felt so good. Um, I got closer to God. Um, just so much, so much has went on. I've been blessed by beyond measures, like financially, spiritually, emotionally, physically, um, just in all aspects of life. And that was truly when I felt like, boom, you know, God sent me a soulmate. Like, it's crazy. But everything I ever wanted out of a woman, God sent that to me. And that right there is a true blessing because, like I said, when it came to my job and to just to this business, I wanted somebody that, you know, was on my level and then at the same time could pour into me and, you know, teach me something. And God sent that to me. And let me tell you, all my business has made a complete 360. Because, I mean, wow, it's been amazing. Because, like I said, she's a number cruncher. Um, just, she has her own money, her own life, her own everything. And it's a blessing. So... You know, when it comes to relationships, you got to truly understand certain people are here for a reason. Certain people are here for seasons and seasonal people. You just got to let them go. I had a lot of seasonal friends that were just around me because, you know, I have my own authority, my own company. Everything was popping. Uh, money was flowing. The same with women, too. You know, I had a woman that was just the seasonal woman. She was there for the good times. And then when everything hit the fan and she was up, she jumped ship. But it's all good because at the end of the day, one thing I can say out of that situation, like I said, she's not a bad woman. She just wasn't good for me. Was um, I helped somebody that came from nothing and I showed them and push them to where they could be something. So, you know, as much shit as people like to talk about, oh, money this and blowing money that and people being used for this. Now, at the end of the day, I opened a woman's eyes and I showed her as much as she could say that she had no help and she didn't do this, she didn't do that, she did it all on her own. At the end of the day, you know, God knows what I poured into her god knows you know how i took someone from nothing and showed them that they could be something and to me that's all that matters so at the end of the day she'll be able to move on and you know hopefully she'll give another man you know the life or whatever he needs hopefully she'll be able to fulfill that because like i said before 
at the end of the day, what I can take out of the relationship is I help somebody. I save somebody from falling to the wayside. And that right there is a true blessing for me. That's where I could smile and I could just be happy about just the whole situation. So um, that's the best way to sum it up when it comes to, you know, when people come into your life and they walk, just let them go, you know, because your true blessing is coming. It's around the corner. You just got to trust the process. So that being said, love, peace, prosperity, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Deuces.